Welcome to my fourth episode of my Nagaoka Let's Play in Fall of the Samurai. Now, I just had what is probably the biggest battle you'll see in this Let's Play in a while. Over 8,000 troops involved. Uh, I was at number 3 to 1, as you can see. However, I killed over 4 guys for every one I lost. So, it's just, it was a great victory. And he has almost no troops remaining in any of his armies. The two enemies who combined to try to crush me, but they couldn't, so... Yes, victory! Now, in the end, I did manage to ride down quite a few guys. As you can see, 444 kills on my Yariki, that is my cavalry. Which is just after the battle was won, that was just killing people who were retreating, so... Yeah, good kills, good kills. And I got a lot of experience on a lot of my troops. This is good because they're mostly, yeah, as you can see, they're mostly uh, melee units and they benefit greatly from experience. Hmm, great. My people love that I'm doing such a well and a good job. Uh, that's good to hear. Now then, let's crush the remainder of his armies. Do any of them have any generals I can steal? No? Okay then. Oh, I actually have... Um, I have these guys. No? Oh, okay. I forgot to disembark them earlier. Sucks. Now then, to chase down and kill the stragglers. I'll just do it like this. Alright. That's why I can probably reach the other... No, I can't. I'll just do like this though. Boom, boom. Boom. And gone. No more stragglers, total annihilation. That's what happens when you mess with Nagaoka. Oh, and a daughter was born. Probably in the middle of the siege, because that's where my daimyo is. Ah, trading port in three turns. Excellent. That'll open up trade with the foreign powers, and I love trading with them. The only bad thing is, a uh, trade route will stretch all this way, all around, to come over here to France and Great Britain, Port of London, and uh, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Havre is what it is in Norwegian, which means uh, well, oats, but yeah, I doubt it's called the oat, to be honest. Very fertile soil. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I want. Where I want tenant fields. That's excellent. At your command. And that's it for now. now. Should I recruit more troops? I believe I have enough to mess up Numata properly. I do want a peace agreement with uh, Nagoya. No, not Nagoya. With uh, the other Morioka. These guys. Unacceptable. Oh, well, screw you then. Get on by Sado, see what I care. I just crushed his army, so Sado's just gonna have fun and take all his, take all his territories. Actually, Aizu has taken one of his territories as well. Contrary to what normally happens, Aizu's actually managed to expand a bit. They've taken two other provinces. For some reason, that usually doesn't happen to, me, to them, but uh, maybe it's this patch that I've... I have not, not played since the last patch. That's probably why. This is happening because there's a lot of cool certain changes, small things that I've noticed since the patch that are very good. Ready right then, orders. let's end this turn. Now I know I could probably make the Mata just my vassal. However, I uh, I want that province because it has oh shit, oh well, I'm just gonna backstab me uh, because it has a railroad. And it'll add to my little railroad network. Now oh, this fucker. Ah, oh, he's so crazy. Yes, my lord. That should do it for defense for now. It probably won't come in time, but. Okay, Sue just declared war on Obama, and Sue are right down here. So hopefully he'll turn around and decide not to attack me. Because attacking me when he's at war with someone else would be a big mistake. 
Ready and to adventure and glory. Yes, to adventure and glory. Discretion as always, Lord. It is my honor to serve. My sword for you, my lord. Do I have any other units that are almost fully healed? I have two. So I'm gonna send them with my daimyo to take out the enemy. I should probably just send my shinobi with them as well. Your orders, my lord. Two is actually becoming quite big, and I believe they are imperialist scum. So uh, they might pose a problem if they take out Obama. Now then, gonna send my little fleet further north to mess with Nagoya. He only has one province left. This shit right here. With that port right there. So I'm just gonna sit there and bombard his port. Maybe get some experience on my ships, who knows? Very well. Yes, my lord. Treading softly. There we go. That gave me just enough moves to reach that city in two turns. Excellent. Now I do have a little bit of money. I'm gonna use that on the trading port to Kaga. I also need to expand the Kaga, make it bigger. Because it's my recruitment province, it's where I'm gonna be recruiting all my troops. Ah, there we go, he sent this little army into my territory, which is a big mistake. Mother. Call to arms, recruitment capacity, yeah, we're great. Love that. Now then, you did that, you did that, and uh, the good thing, uh, he is now on my territory. What happens if you destroy an enemy, like this is his lost city, if his army was anywhere within his own territory, that army would turn into a rebel army. However, because it's not, it's, um, it's in my territory, it'll just disappear when I conquer his territory. Just like that. And now it's gone. And it's gone. Great. Actually making a little bit of money now. I know it's not a lot in the big picture, but it is a little bit. And a little bit is a lot more than what I earned earlier. And yeah, these guys still can attack these guys to us. That's weird. Ah oh, yes, because of the cottage industry and no happiness buildings. Happiness buildings. Yes, the bastards who thought they could backstab me and use my period of weakness as they saw it to join in my enemy and trying to crush me. And they got crushed themselves. That's what happens when you mess with me. Oh yeah. Okay, this guy has a traditional dojo and a magistrate. Shinsengumi is a good unit. I actually want to just recruit the shinobi while I still have that one. Tradition dojo. Uh, the magistrate is a good, good building. I do prefer the inn because it also gives uh, money in addition to giving uh, happiness. However, um, since it's already built and it's actually, uh, I think it's level 2. Yes, it is. It's level 2. So I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to destroy the uh, traditional dojo and build a cottage industry there instead. Excellent, excellent. Right then, nothing more to do now. Now Shinsengumi and Ishinshishi are two units I really like. They have some cool features. For example, the probably most used for the feature is that they can make enemies towns rebel. Especially towns that the enemy has conquered. If the enemy is Imperial, for example, and he's conquered a shogunate town. And a lot of the population are still shogunate aligned. Then it'll be very easy to make that city revolt. Your 
orders, my lord. And yeah, Sado just landed. However, as you could see if you paid attention during the end turn screen, he has a Morioka that is has a full army somewhere near here. So he's probably gonna end up losing that little army. Sado is. We'll see. Actually, that's Matsuma who landed there. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, but I hope you was correct. And one of my ships, my gunboat, actually got XP. I hate gunboats. The only thing I use them for is scouting on the strategic map. Ah, yes. More farming. Excellent. Now, by the way, um... You, most of you probably know this, but I'll tell you anyway. The wealth they get, like this says 900 wealth. I believe it's actually more because of so it's very fertile. We can just see that very easily. Um, bum 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 bum. Farming, yeah. So, three times base value of farming income. Like I said earlier, it's triple the income of normal. But anyway, town wealth is not actually how much money you earn. How much money is based on your tax rate. So if, if, um, if I had 10% taxes though, I would make 430 well, 431 money from this town. However, because my tax rate is 22, I get a little over double that. Actually, yeah, a little over double that. So, but yeah, you don't actually get that. You don't actually get the wealth. You tax the wealth. And Nautil is still very unhappy, the bastards. I'll expand the city and build an inn there next turn. If I can afford it. Which I probably can't because I just did that. My lord. I am ready to serve. How may I This serve? city is mostly pro emperor. So I put my uh Shinjungumi in there. Shinjungumi. And he will uh, help increase the amount of pro shogunate people what in my little city. Thinking? I'll send this Shinobi to this Kaga to do some uh Scousing and you're basically keeping that city safe. I also believe that I will soon have railroads. Excellent. I'm gonna save up for railroads because they are just so good when it comes to strategic use. There's just nothing that can beat them. They're excellent for moving troops around. It's probably the feature I love the most in this game, railroads. Oh, and he's still attacking, even though that huge army just marched right past him. Ready for orders. Oh, he's got balls, he's got cojones. And I don't need all these crappy levy infantry anymore, so I'm just going to disband them and watch my income soar. Yes. More money. <laughs> And these guys. I hate those guys. No. No. I'm not gonna make any more there just now. Yes, I am going to save my money to improve Norto. So that I can start taxing the bastards again. Because I need my money. Come on, more money. Give us some of that internet money. And if you could take that, where that come from, I will upload you. There you go. If you didn't know where that come from, where that came from, oh, too bad. Now, I love to do with the shinobi. I like to make them well-rounded, which means taking all the main, uh, what would you call these main upgrades? but none of the secondary ones like these. That does make them well-rounded, however, it does not um, make them very specialized. But this guy, I believe I'm going to make into a military spy. So I'm just going to do this whole tree right here, on this side. I'll make the other guy a well-rounded guy. Okay, my port is finished, and I can make a trading port. Excellent, I'll do that in my capital. I know I said I was going to do upgrade Noto, but I'll just wait one more turn. Trading ports are great, because they will give you foreign veterans. 
and you want to train those, and train those from as soon as possible. I'm actually going to have to put my shinobi in some other town because uh, I will training ports in these other other places. I also have two. I have three ports tonight that I ha don't actually have any trade routes going through. So I'll see if I can get more. Um, okay. I'll see if I can get more trading routes, trading allies, something like that. And instead of crushing my navy, which you probably could have, you just run around it. Uh, okay. I'm curious though, where is he going to try and attack me? I'm very curious about that. To serve you. Hmm. Now I could be a bastard and just bomb Steady his uh, port while I go past it. You know what, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Prepare the guns. <laughs> it's not enough to stop trade going through it. You need a... Uh, I think it's either 25 or 50 percent damage to stop trade going through it, but uh, it's enough for now. I'll also start to upgrade my fleet a bit because I need more ships to fight off that bastard. Now the Shinsengumi also gives a lot of uh, happiness, or rather repression, in the town, meaning he kills people who are very naughty. So. Uh, the rest of the population stay nice so that they won't get killed. This is the repression plus two. That's what that's what the Shinsengumi does, and uh, he's better the more imperialists there are in the city. So because there are seventy-five percent imperialist scum in my city, he'll do quite well. Uh, but it's still just plus three happiness. So I'm going to send my general and the Katanakachi up north to Chigo. I don't know if Merchant Houses was a tech I wanted. I didn't actually check that. I probably should. Hmm. Now, will he attack my fleet? And he will. Hmm. Would you look at that? Two Corvettes against four. You know what? I'm gonna try to run away. I don't really want to lose my admiral. Run away! If that doesn't happen... Oh, okay, it, he lived. Excellent. He survived. I need to wait until my two corvettes are done. Now, if, there, if it was three versus four, I would have actually done it, try to fault it myself. However, I was just so severely outnumbered, I don't think I could have won that. Also, one thing that really annoys me is that um, the computer doesn't seem to have any fog of war. So he'll know that my fleet is there right now, when I in turn, so he'll probably end up attacking it again. Even though there's really no way he could know that. I mean, yes, he could probably guess, like, the... Since because of the direction I was going or whatever, but they always know exactly where your fleets are. My sword for you, by marching now. Hmm. Merchant houses, is that really what I want? It's plus five. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, I want that. I want explosive shells more though. Hmm. You know what? I'll get explosive shells first and then I'll get merchant houses. Ah, he's gonna blockade my port, the bastard. Ah, this killed my trade. I lost about 400. Right there. Full speed ahead. But that's fine with me because I have a little uh, surprise for him. this, because it is a fleet battle and because it is even numbered. Even though I have a gunboat, I don't really consider that any good in battle. So yes, I will see you on the battle map.